Hi, and uh, welcome back. Today, I want us to dive into this with coordinate systems on a CNC machine. It is uh, very different from a 3D printer, where a 3D printer always works in the machine coordinates, who always have, or not always, but in my case, it has uh, 0, 0.00 in this corner here. Um, we can have up to several coordinate systems within the machine coordinate systems and uh, they are called uh, G54, G55, G56, up to G59 and uh, machine coordinate is called uh, uh, either MAC or G53. So I want to uh, uh, use an example here where I have this uh, uh, bracket here, this item here which has uh, different dimensions and we want to do some different things on two different sides here in the same operations and for that I need to to use two coordinate systems which will be G54 and G55 but uh, before that I will show you a little bit more about these coordinate systems on the computer there I have uh, made a drawing that can explain and visualize it a little bit better so let's go and uh, take a look on that and then we will go and work on the machine with these two coordinate systems. The first you need to do is to home all your axes on your CNC machine. You need to do that so you find your zero, uh, your zero position in the MAC coordinate uh, system. In my case it is down to the left. So when this is done, you have set up your machine coordinates and this works together with, with the other coordinate system that's called G54 and G55 as an example, which we will use in this example at the machine. So the G54 coordinate systems is also a system that works within the machine coordinates. So this G54 matter of fact is inside this coordinate system which is called G53 or the machine coordinates. And that zero position could is normally here in the center or it could be here or it could be here. But from there it can as an example go in a positive direction as an example G01 X5 and it would move 5 positive X out here or it could be G01 minus 5X which then would be here so it would go on this axis back and this is equal for all the three axes the set and the Y as well so the next coordinate system we will use is G55 and matter of fact the zero position will be different from the G54 that's why we use these two different coordinate systems on the same item so we can just continue our um, our work without uh, loading a new file so in this case the zero could matter of fact be here and uh, compared to, to this one, because this item is wider on the y-axis than it is here in this coordinate system. So we could say the next zero position would be here. So let's take a look on the G code and uh, just to see what I did there. And then let's go into the machine and take a look. So this is a G-code we want to use in our example and it is based on these two coordinate systems and the first part of the code is it tells me G21 I'm working in millimeter mode uh, also the G90 is important here it's absolute distance mode and I'm running millimeters per minute mode as well and right after that I have a G54 which is the first coordinate system I will use. So these, this file here is made of two G-code files and um, 
I made them separately, I merged them, and then I added here the G54, because uh, I, I use Kafka, which I'm very happy with, uh, but there's no possibility to, to, to choose a, a coordinate system, so it calls that. So when this has been running, it, has, it will uh, carve out uh, a rectangle on the first side of uh, the item. Then it will uh, stop the spindle, it will return the tool, and I have set in a M0 here where it says turn the item to G55. Again, it will call up the M uh, millimeter mode, absolute distance, and so on, and then the G55 is uh, coming up. And uh, I will have a tool change. It starts the spindle again, and it will carve out a circle, a cylinder. When this is done, it stops everything and uh, returns the tools, and it will go for M30 command when rewind it, and the whole process starts over again. So this is the thing we want to do. So uh, let's go in and start the whole thing to setting up our G. 54 and G55 coordinate system. So before we do anything with the G54, G55, we need to home our X, Y and Z axis. And I will do that immediately. And here we go. Now they're all at home and I wait for the axis to go 5 mm out. The Z axis already went 5 mm down. The X axis is done and very soon now we have the Y axis. So we are ready to go. And I can now move over here. And we will, we will now set the parameters for our G54. And um, this is this way here. So I put that in my wise. And you saw here I use the end of the wise here as as uh, the zero. Um, I just want to check. Uh, you see here it says G55 from the last thing I was running. So I want to change this to G54, go down with the tap, modify with the arrows, and now it says G54. And we are ready to probe the three axes. Um, I just want to check that you see here, it says high and low, so I have a connection. That's important. And now I want to go over here, down on the x-axis. So. Yep. And it goes out here. So that was a G54. So now I will just pack this off and I now turn the tool to my G55 side that I want to work on. And I now go with my tap, I move down to the G54 and change it to G55. Yep, and we are ready to probe again. And now we will set the coordinate system for the G55. It's a matter of fact quite easy. Let's be sure that. Yeah, that's okay. So, and now I probe. Go down.
so now we have to set the the coordinate system for the G54 and the G55. It's not it's not that complicated if I forget to change the G55 to G54 when I run the G code because if you remember I did add G54 at the top of course and uh, this will automatically change it when it runs the G code. So um, let's see what, what we can do here. There's one thing you need to do, and that is move the item to the G54 side, because that's where we are starting to work on right now. So let's uh, run the G code and uh, see how it works. And now it says tool chains. I did all that. Here we go. That was the first part of the of the code and it now says at line 71 return uh, tool uh, we will not do that because when I have to turn not the tool <laughs> return the tool but I need to put it to my G55 coordinate system now because as you can see there in the display now it, it was changed to G54. So we are now ready to run in a, our, our G55 coordinate systems and the change to G55. It says tool change, we don't do that. We have done that. And now it does the job on on the G55 side, which is a circle. So this G code file is not really up to date. It should have been uh, made uh, a little bit different. So now we have... Um, now we have finished uh, working at these uh, two coordinate systems. And our production so far is done, and we are ready to take the next bit in. As you can see here, we make this uh, rectangular hole. We have this uh, up here that's only for uh, demon demonstration purpose. And they are, as a matter of fact, a little bit different in size and height, but it's also different uh, coordinate systems uh, we are working in. So that's how you use the coordinate system on a CNC machine and with the DDCS version 3.1 uh, offline controller. So happy carving and see you another day, another time.